So I'm gonna show you this project here. Don't mind this. This is my dog knocking down all my damn cushions. And anyway, so you see this project right here? This project right here. This house caught on fire. You can see a little bit of the burn wood kind of right there. So this project caught on fire. This house caught on fire, and now they're literally rebuilding the whole thing here. Now, for a project like this, for you to get on with a um, project like this that requires restoration, uh, one of the things you do is you either sign up with the insurance companies, which is very hard to do. You have to find insurance companies that's willing to take on new contractors or information uh, for contractors. Or you sign up with the restoration company. You literally call the restoration company and ask them, do they need help with general contracting or drywall or any other type of service that they're doing? Um, I think Capital is the restoration company that, that landed this job here. So literally, uh, you see that name there? Literally, I would call them and it would probably be a little bit too late to get on this project, but who knows? You know, I would call them and says, hey, I'm a contractor, I do drywall. Um, or hey, I'm a contractor, I do insulation. Or hey, I'm a contractor, I do painting. Want to know if you, uh, if you guys need, if you guys have any jobs where you need help with a painter. I can give you an estimate. Uh, we start a job quick, there's no delays. Uh, we can do last minute work. And that's how you advertise and get on these restoration projects or projects where maybe some type of damage has happened to the home. Uh, what I used to do is I used to call all the restoration companies everywhere to get put on with them. Literally, I'll just call them and then just follow back up with them if I wasn't able to, to make a solid connection with them. And I landed plenty of work that way. And literally, they start calling you every time they need help. Dropping nuggets.